Hey everybody, welcome to this video guide for One Piece World Seeker on the Xbox Series X. Today we are completing the side mission Prison Tower Smuggling, and in this side mission, Sabo is planning to investigate a big deal going down in the Prison Tower, and he needs Luffy to create a distraction. So let's get started with this side mission to begin. We are going to head to this location here inside of Ruby Village. This is where Sabo will be waiting for you, so go ahead and speak to him to begin the side mission. All right, now that we have started up the side mission, we are going to head to the main courtyard area of the prison tower, and this is where we are going to be buying time for Sabo. All we need to do is survive for two minutes in this open area. So let's go ahead and get started with the actual fight itself. To skip ahead past this fight, you're welcome to skip to the time code displayed at the bottom right. If you just don't want to see this fight, this isn't a very complicated fight. So if you want to see how to actually get to the top of the prison tower, skip ahead to that time code. It's there for you to use. All right, now this is all just a battle of attrition and survival. All you need to do is survive for two minutes straight. What you can do is actually hide in certain areas and run away from the enemies. You need to make sure you stay within the radius that is on the minimap, but you can just run away from enemies and not even fight them at all. That is going to be kind of boring if you want to go that way. So if you decide to fight, just go ahead and aim for the head, get some critical shots in, build up your tension gauge, and just fire off special attacks whenever you feel overwhelmed. Really just do your best to dodge all of the attacks. There are some enemies with the purple bar that shows up on the top of the screen like the support assault character that I am fighting right now. If you want to just make sure that you use your special attacks on them because they are tough enemies, so that way you can avoid any damage that is just unnecessary. And you can just keep moving around, keep dodging, do whatever you can to avoid a significant amount of damage and just survive for the two minutes. This fight isn't too bad. The one up top has a pacifista, so that can get a bit overwhelming at times, but this one, is definitely very straightforward. All you need to do is just fight the enemies. So that is where I will leave my tips at. Like I said, very straightforward. Take advantage of the time codes if you want to skip past any of this. And I will see you once we have completed this fight. All right, after surviving for those two minutes in the courtyard, we are now going to be headed to the top of the prison tower. So I'd recommend you follow the path that I take here. I do have some gum gum rocket upgrades, so I'm able to fly a pretty good distance. But as long as you have the gum gum UFO, you can glide over to get into range to grab onto the ledge. So you should be able to make it no matter how many upgrades you have using the path that I took. Once we have made it to the mission marker, there is going to be a very quick dialogue and we're going to have to stall for Sabo once again. So there's going to be another two minute fight. All right, now it is time to start up our second and final fight for this side mission. All you need to do once again is survive for two minutes. 
So I'd recommend that you focus on the pacifistas whenever they do pop up. Make sure you build up your tension gauge on any of the easy enemies around the pacifista and then use your special attacks on them to easily take them out. The Eagle Storm, fully upgraded, was able to take out these pacifistas in one use, so they are very easy to take out if you are prepared. Just do your best to survive for the 2 minutes. If you can clear out the top floor, that is a pretty good spot to just hold out for the entire 2 minutes. The spawn rate at the top floor doesn't seem to be too high. You can clear it out and then just wait up there if you want to just chill and not fight anybody. But if you want to just go back and forth between floors, whenever you feel too overwhelmed, head to a different floor and you should be pretty solid. It is really easy to dodge a lot of these attacks. I find the CP agents to be not so stressful to deal with, but the pacifistas do a lot of damage, so I'd recommend you focus on those all the time. Once you have survived for the full 2 minutes, you will have completed this fight, and then we are going to head back to Ruby Village to finish the side mission. Alright, now that we have completed both of the fights, go ahead and fly over to Sabo in Ruby Village to turn in this side quest. Once you have spoken to him, you will have completed the side mission. All right, and that is it for this side mission. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please stick around and subscribe to my channel for more content like this one. And I hope to see you in any of my other videos. Take care, everybody.